let's continue with our uh, study of uh, linear programming. Uh, this is the second part of our series, uh, constraints, feasible sets, and uh, objective functions. So it's um, uh, one of the important skills in solving uh, linear programming uh, problems is uh, to translate the statement of a problem into a set of variables and a set of linear inequalities that specify permissible values of the variables, uh, so-called uh, constraints. So uh, here's the statement of the problem. And um, uh, as you read the statement, XYZ toys, uh, LLC makes toy cars and trucks using plastic and steel. Each car requires four ounces of plastic and three ounces of steel. Each truck requires three ounces of plastic and six ounces of steel. XYZ gets 30 pounds of plastic and uh, 45 pounds of steel. It can be used for manufacturing toys. And the company makes uh, $5 per uh, toy car and $4 per toy truck. How many toy cars and trucks should the company manufacture to maximize its profit? So we have uh, uh, let C stand for the number of cars and T for the number of trucks. We have two materials, plastic and steel. And uh, so uh, now we're going to underline the amounts of uh, plastic and steel that each car and uh, truck requires. And uh, then we have the statement that XYZ gets 30 pounds of plastic and 45 pounds of steel. Uh, this is the total amount of resource can be used for manufacturing these toys. And then there is a profit, right? $5 per toy car and $4 per uh, toy truck. So um, well, let's uh, do some uh, conversions so that uh, the units are correct. Um, so we have uh, 30 pounds of plastic uh, and uh, we're going to convert uh, that to ounces because um, um, the requirements of uh, uh, for materials uh, for the cars and the trucks are stated in ounces so either we need to convert four ounces of plastic and three ounces of steel for example in case of cars into pounds or which is easier uh, we're going to convert uh, pounds into ounces so we have uh, the resources that the company can use um, the plastic resources uh, is bound um, um, above um, by 480 uh, ounces, right? That's the amount that the company can use. And for steel, we have uh, 45 times 16, 45 pounds times 16 ounce per pound, 780 ounces of steel. So this is the amount of resources that the company has to, uh, or can, uh, can use. It doesn't have to use all of them. Uh, there can be some slack uh, left. Slack is a technical term in linear programming. So the amount of resources that uh, will be um, left. But um, that's those are the bounds on the resource, the upper bounds on, on the resources. So uh, let's figure out the um, amount of uh, um, plastic uh, that the company can use. Let's C and T are the number of... Uh, 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 tr uh, cars and trucks respectively so we have four ounces of plastic per car and uh, three ounces of plastic per truck so uh, four times C plus uh, 3T has to be less than or equal to uh, 480 ounces right so that's the first linear inequality the so-called constraint that uh, constrains the Mm, a number of cars and uh, trucks, the two variables, C and T, uh, that we need to, uh, mm, uh, well, we need to come up with an answer, uh, uh, how many toy cars and trucks should the company manufacture, right, to maximize its profit. And uh, so for steel, uh, we can have uh, three times C, that's three ounces of steel per car, plus six times T, six ounces of steel per truck. And that has to be less than or equal to 720, uh, 720 ounces. So these are our constraints. Uh, again, inequalities that specify permissible values of the variables that um, whose values we have to obtain to answer the question posed by the problem. Now, um, what about the profit, uh, right? Um, uh, well, in this in this problem, it's a profit, um, right? Maximization of a profit, but it doesn't have to be a profit. It can be um, a, a linear. Some linear programming problems are formulated uh, in such a way that we need to maximize some other value. Doesn't have to be a profit, but 
typically yes it is a profit so we are making five um, dollars dollar units uh, per toy um, plus four per truck so the profit function is five times c plus four t so that's the statement of the uh, problem uh, now we can uh, translate it into a set of uh, inequalities uh, and uh, uh, linear uh, profit functions. So we can also say that the amount of the number of cars that the company will manufacture will have to be at least zero. Well, it's a non-negative number and uh, the same goes for the number of trucks. So C is greater than or equal to zero and T is greater than or equal to zero. Then um, another constraint is 4C plus 3T is less than or equal to uh, 480. That's the plastic constraint, the constraint on the uh, amount of plastic that uh, is available for use. And the second constraint, uh, 3C plus 60, uh, less than or equal to 720. It's a constraint on the amount of steel that um, is permissible for the company to use. So these are constraints. Okay. Now, uh, n n the, then uh, the, the other um, uh, part of the um, uh, solution, um, well, formulation of the solution is the so-called profit function. The technical uh, term for this uh, linear uh, function um, uh, is objective uh, function. Right. It's called objective function because it doesn't have to be uh, necessarily um, a profit function. Right? In many uh, LP programs, it is a profit function, but in many, uh, it's not a profit fu uh, function. It's some other linear function that needs to be maximized or minimized, as the case may be. So, but the, the technical term is um, objective function. So we have constraints, we have the objective function, and then uh, there's also the notion of uh, uh, feasible sets. Um, a feasible set is uh, simply put a set of points um, uh, that uh, satisfy, uh, satisfy the constraints. Okay, so, um, so, um, uh, and uh, if uh, uh, the uh, linear programming uh, problem has a solution, uh, then uh, uh, that set of points is uh, non-empty, right? Must be non-empty. So these are the constraints. This is a set of constraints that the feasible set uh, must satisfy, okay? Uh, and another technique, um, I, later on in this series, we will uh, uh, talk about uh, the simplex method of solving linear programming problems. So the technique of tabulating uh, the constraints in the objective function um, uh, uh, is a very important one because uh, that will help uh, us convert uh, linear, um, uh, prob uh, linear programming problems into tableaus that are used in the simplex method. So we can uh, start um, picking up that uh, skill set uh, right now so we can tabulate uh, the statement of this problem um, in a, a two-dimensional table. So cars and trucks are um, uh, the variables and then plastic and steel are the materials. So those are column uh, values. And um, here we have um, a profit, right? Or our objective function, that's the third uh, column. And um, the third row will be totals, right? Those are um, the total amounts of materials and, uh, and, and the profit, right? And uh, so if we arrange the statement of uh, uh, the linear program, uh, this, this, uh, every L, uh, LP uh, problem as a table, then uh, we can read off that table, uh, all of the constraints and the objective function and the variables. So for plastic, we require four times C um, ounces of plastic um, uh, per car and three times T ounces of plastic per truck. And so the total of plastic that we're uh, allowed to use is 480 um, ounces. Now for steel, uh, we have uh, three uh, ounces uh, of um, uh, steel per car and six uh, ounces of uh, steel per truck and the permissible amount is 720 ounces in profit five dollars per car and four dollars per truck and the profit function is uh, five times uh, C plus uh, four times uh, four times T 
so given uh, given this table so we can just uh, uh, simply write down all of the constraints that we have so reading the first column that's the plastic constraint 4c plus uh, 3t uh, less than or equal to 480 uh, 3c plus uh, 60 uh, is less than or equal to 720 all right that's the steel constraint uh, c is greater than or equal to zero uh, t is greater than or equal to zero those are common sense constraints because we have to produce uh, non-negative um, uh, numbers of cars and trucks and uh, the objective function is 5c plus 4t and we need to maximize it um, right but there are problems that um, we might ask us to minimize the objective function so minimize the losses for example so that's it this is um, uh, will continue in the next screencast with this uh, thank you for watching